Hi, Mark Serbu, industrial designer and today math teacher, and welcome to the demonetization games. <laughs> I just put a video up uh, last night that it didn't. I didn't put a ton of effort into, but it was pretty decent. And YouTube demonetized it before it even went public, which is like, God, it's just a slap to the face. So I'm just trying to put different stuff up there and see if there's any rhyme or reason to what they're doing as far as taking my money away. What I'm going to show you here is is really pretty cool, even though it is math. It's uh, it's a useful method for converting between units, and I use it a lot when I, I, I take a lot of high-speed video of certain objects and their movements and parts of them moving, and this is really a, a handy method for just figuring out things I want to look at, like velocities and and uh, event times and, uh, you know, and rate per second sort of things. And this is kind of cool because you don't have to think about it, like your head can be all full of crap and you're going a million different directions at once, which happens to me a lot. Some of you too, you know how it is. Uh, and this way you just write stuff down in a, in a really logical fashion and it just, just the things come out at the end. You cross cancel units, everything comes up. It's called the ladder method and check it out. It's pretty interesting, even though it is math. <laughs> the way the ladder method works is you put what you know up here. You just, all, all the things that you're looking at. Okay, so the uh, frame rate of the camera is 1500 frames per minute. So 1500 frames per, I'm sorry, per second. 1500 frames per second. And the answer I'm going to want, I want to know the velocity of this thing in feet, feet per second. Um, yeah, feet per second is good. Sometimes we use feet per minute, sometimes inches per second, but I want it feet per minute. Okay, so I've got 1500 frames per second. Now this particular event, it uh, traversed a distance of six inches in 45 frames. Okay, so I need to cross cancel frames. So I know the frame's gonna be down here. So 45 frames. And that was six inches. Okay, so now we can cross cancel anything that's, you know, across. <laughs> so now we got inches per second. That's, that's my answer if I want inches per second. That's pretty cool. But now say I want feet per second. So now, but let's, let's stop here. If I want if I want inches per second, then it's 1,500 times 6 divided by 45 equals whatever inches per second. So I want to continue on and get feet per second. So what do we know? We've got inches. How many inches in a foot? We've got 12 inches in a foot. So now we can cross cancel inches, which, you know, I could have written it out, whatever. So now we've got 1,500 times 6 divided by 45 times 12. And that equals whatever inches a minute. So let's do the math really quickly, and I'll come back here because I don't have it in my head. All right, so it turns out that this number, you could probably do that in your head. It had kind of came up with some weird numbers that... Uh, you know, six times 15, 90, so 1,500, 9,000. Anyway, uh, this is 200 inches per second. That's not infinity, that's a zero, zero, believe it or not. And then of course, you can just take this number divided by 12 and you get 16 point number of the beast uh, feet per second, or 16.666. So that's interesting. That's That was my velocity derived from what I saw in the high-speed video and this object traversing a known distance. I just watched and I realized we were below the, <laughs> the frame, but that's okay. You can imagine that I just drew another number there and then, then I wrote this. See? So yeah, maybe, maybe they just didn't want me to have 666 on there. Maybe that's too evil to actually write on a whiteboard. But you just saw it now, so obviously not. Okay, next thing. Now this other device with this moving object within it was going, again, we're doing 1,500 frames a second. We're just going to do FRM frames per second. And it did an average. I noticed that this uh, this object traveled across this particular gap, and the gap is 2 inches, and it would move 2 inches in 20 frames. So we know we want frames here because we want to cancel. So 20 frames, and that's 2 inches. Okay, now, if we want... We've already got inches per second. So it's 1,500 times 2, which is 3,000. So it's 1,500 inches per second. Is that right? No. 
20, sorry. <laughs> divided by 20. So 1500 times 2 is 3000 divided by 20 is 150. Duh. Okay, so 150 inches per second. But now what if we want to get that in feet per second? Okay, we got to go inches to feet. So we've got 12 inches per foot. It's a foot. And we, we, we know that we want the inches on the bottom because they got to cross cancel. So inches go away. So now we've got 1500 times 2 divided by 20 times 12. Well, let's see if we can do it. Uh, we knew this was 3,000 divided by 20. It's 150. So that's 150 times 12. That's our answer, which is what? Um, 1,500 plus 300. So it's 1,800. Feet per second. You know, that's impossible because that's fucking supersonic. Oh, it's divided by 12. <laughs> uh, see, anybody can make mistakes, folks. <laughs> yes, your object is moving supersonic inside of your device. So, yes, 1500. That, that's my fault for trying to do this crap in my head. That's the thing. This avoids you doing stuff in your head. You just write it all out. 1500. That's a terrible. It's hard to write out here. 1500 times 2 divided by 20 times 12. So I didn't even go and say, well, what's 20 times? No, just, I didn't say 3,000 divided. You just do all this, just write it out. And then just do this in your calculator, and you will know. You'll get it right. And the answer in this case is 12.5. And, you know, it's what you've got left over. 12.5 feet per second. So the velocity of that particular object moving back and forth inside this other object is 12.5 feet per second. And of course, if we want to convert... To inches per second, inches per minute, feet per minute, all that stuff. It's just a matter of adding more steps to the ladder. Huh, like that? Steps to the ladder? Now, another really useful application of this method is when you've got, um, you're trying to figure out um, a, a, the period, uh, you know, which is one over time. And you've got the period you want to, let me start over. <laughs> 1,500 frames per second. You know, this is the this is the high speed video. This is the setting we're on. So we know when we're looking at the video, we're going step by step through the video, counting frames. This is kind of our clock for everything. So in this case, I want to I want to be able to tell how long it takes for this object to move from a start all the way back and back to the start again. So what this will give me is the number I'll count the number of frames that that took, and then I'll convert it into how many of those events per second or per minute. So in this case, I, um, I found out that it took 167 frames. Uh, 167 frames per event. And we'll call that, yeah, it's kind of a, let's just round it. We'll call it, we'll call it a round, okay? Because we're going to round this, get it? So rounds. Rounds. So we've got frames canceled out. So we got rounds per second. Now, what if we, we usually want to see these things in minutes. So, you know, the usual, um, we got seconds here. We want to cancel. So we got seconds here and we got 60 seconds is one minute. Okay. Now, <laughs> again, I'm not going to do the math in my head. 1500. Oh, and don't. Don't forget, we cross cancel everything. So we've got the only thing we have left is rounds per minute. So we got 1500 times 60 divided by 167. 539. That's a terrible five. There you go. 539 rounds per minute. That's, that's pretty slow. But that's what it was. But there you go. So you can use this. If you're watching a high speed video of an event and you can count frames, this will tell you if you know the frame rate, you can figure out the velocity of an object. You can figure out the occurrence per time. All right. Well, thanks very much for watching. I know this is kind of boring, but it's helping me figure out 
why YouTube demonetizes stuff and see if I can just get a normal thing through or am I just a cursed channel that they automatically demonetize everything I put out. Um, we'll find out. The next version, I'm going to do one just like this, but it's going to actually have little video snippets of these events that I've been talking about in very generic terms. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Have a good one. Oh, and don't touch your face and wash your hands often. Yeah.